When you're working with two launchpads at the same time, it's always difficult on your computer to see to which launchpad you're talking to. For instance, when you're debugging something, how do you know if it's talking to the left one or the right one? When you're loading a program, how do you know that? As long as you're working with one launchpad, it's easy. But in my case, I'm working with a sender and a receiver launchpad that have a communication with each other and I want to debug and program them both at the same time attached to the same computer. So I have made a few provisions to make this work and to not be confused of which IDE is talking to which launchpad and also which terminal program is talking to which launchpad. I'll go over the tips and tricks one by one and I'll also put in links below for the blog post related to how to do those things. The first thing we'll do is choose which one is going to be the sender and which one is going to be the receiver. That's arbitrary because they're both identical launch pads, but it's going to be easier later on if you choose a role for each of them. Then I have color coded each of them, also something that we'll use later when we run the IDE and the terminal program. And I have written the debugger ID on a label on the launch pads. And these three simple things are the start of the next steps. The second thing that I've done is taking care that our Code Composer Studio can debug two launchpads at the same time. I have made a blog and a video on that subject, so I'm not going to repeat that here. I will put the links uh, in the comments below. And then the next thing that I did was take care that we would also know in Code Composer Studio to which launchpad we were talking. And I did that with color coding. So when I start up Code Composer Studio, it will ask me uh, which workspace I want to use and let's use the transmitter workspace and you saw that I colored the transmitter launchpad red on the label so when I start this workspace you will see uh, that the editor uh, turns up red too so it's very clear just by looking in the editor window that this is the code composer studio session for the transmitter launchpad I'll also start the receiver session it's all the same. We start Code Composer Studio and we check our receiver workspace. And again, it will open up, but you'll see that the editor windows are blue purplish, and that's the color that I gave the receiver launchpad. So, two small changes, but they make your life uh, easy. Uh, you never have to use brain cells anymore to see which launchpad you're talking to, you can just use your eyes. I have created a blog post for this too, how to do that. Uh, it's not difficult, just a few settings in Code Composer Studio. You have to do that once when you have opened your receiver workspace and once when you have opened your transmission workspace. But there is very little things to do, very straightforward. I will put the link below in the comments. And the last configuration change I made was to Putty. And there I have made two sessions, one for the sender and one for the receiver. And if I load the first session, you'll see that it also has this same color of the, of the label of the sender. If I open the second session of Putty and I open the receiver one, you see that they are purple. So again, visual clues that take care that you don't have to use your brain cells to guess which session is talking to which launchpad. I've also changed the title here. That makes it even more clear whether it's transmit or receive. Very simple changes. Um, there is a blog post related to those ones too, and I'll also put that link below in the comments. So, what have we learned? From now on, you don't have to worry anymore which session is talking to which launchpad. So we have two Code Composer Studios, each uh, showing to which launchpad they're talking. We have two Putty sessions, also showing uh, to which the launchpad they're talking. And you have the labels on the launchpad, so you physically know which one is the sender and the receiver. And all your attention can now go to making great projects.